The CDC says one in three American adults don't get enough sleep every night. And as Megan Heiler explains, that could be causing some health problems that are more serious than just feeling tired. Basically, if you don't get good night's sleep, you're not going to function well. Dr. Mamedov told me that overall, people are not getting enough sleep. Some downsides not getting enough rest, high blood pressure, heart problems, depression, and even a greater risk of car accidents. He recommended getting at least eight hours a night with teens and children requiring more the younger they are. Well, we're spending our third of our life in sleep. It's very important because sleep deprivation is very common in the United States and sleep is very important. I would just uh, ad advise everybody, anybody, to get more sleep. So, what are some things you can do to improve your overall sleep health? He said cut down on the caffeine and put away your phone at night at least an hour before you turn in. This isn't easy to do as many adults use their smart devices in bed as a way to wind down after a long day at school or work. I usually on my phone YouTube for an hour or so before I go to bed, generally a, a text message, Snapchat, um, last bit of social networking before I go to bed. A bad habit is my phone, for sure. I'm always like, because my brain is like, well, calm down, do something to kind of relax you. So I like play games just to kind of like have my brain not focus on something. It's not a good habit, though, and I, I know the whole screen thing. Dr. Mamedov said that many people have sleep problems and don't even know it. This is where your spouse or your partner can come in. He said that if they notice you kicking in your sleep or even snoring, it could be the result of an underlying issue. His advice, pay attention to how groggy you feel during the day and speak up. If you still feel sleepy during the day, tired, you can't function, you really need a nap during the day, and uh, you're not really well focused or have a problems with concentration, I think it's a good time to talk to your primary care and we get uh, checked at the sleep center. And that was Megan Heiler reporting. Dr. Mamedev also wants people to think twice before eating a large meal before going to bed. He says doing so can hinder your ability to fall asleep.